Hi, I'm Mike Moog, product trainer for the Graco Industrial Products Division. Today we're going to talk a little bit about electrostatics and grounding of the electrostatic paint system. All right, so we're going to start off today with a little bit of an animation showing what's going on with the gun and the part. So the electrostatic gun here is putting an electrical charge on the paint, it's building up the electrons on the paint, and that is being, that paint is then being transferred or attracted to this part that is grounded. So the whole objective here is to increase the transfer efficiency of the painting process. All right, so as we're putting this paint on the part that has all these extra electrons on it, we have to make sure that everything in the, in the booth, right, is properly grounded to avoid any shock or electrical hazards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a, couple, a look at a couple of different grounding points. This first grounding point is for the operator's safety. And we're looking at the true earth ground at the feet, okay? So we want to make sure Graco recommends that the operator uses a leather-soled shoes because that gives the operator a grounding path. The whole body is completely grounded through the contact of the shoe to the ground. So a couple of issues with that. Leather-based shoes, number one, if you go to a rubber sole, that's going to act as a, an insulator. If I have paper on the floor to protect the floor, if it's not a groundable um, paper or a conductive paper, then that also acts as an insulator. And then overspray, just general paint overspray on the floor can act as an insulator. All right, we're going to go on to the next spot. And then we're going to talk about the grounding of the part itself. So from my part, through the conveyor, we want to make sure we have a true, good, true earth ground. And what that means is from a measurement from the part to earth ground should be no more than one mega ohm of resistance. All right. Some of the points on here that we should look at and consider is the first one is where the hook connects to the part. And then the next major concern is where the hook connects to the conveyor. There tends to be some paint overspray in this area, and if I get too much of a paint overspray, then that starts isolating the part, and I don't get that good ground, and then this part starts acting as something that will collect all those electrons and could pass a shock back to the operator. All right, so once again, one mega ohm from the part to a true earth ground. All right, we're gonna go to the next spot, and that's gonna be the air hose itself. So the air hose is a special air hose and we put left-handed threads on there to make sure that you can't put the wrong air hose on there. But the ground, this is the, the, the key point or the key area for the operator on the ground. The hand is on the handle of the gun. The handle of the gun is connected to the air hose which goes all the way back here to the air supply to the true earth ground here. Once again, that measurement is no more than one mega ohm. All right, if the operator's wearing gloves, we have to make sure that there's a hole cut in the, the hand of the glove so the operator still comes in physical contact with the, with the gun. Or if the gloves they're wearing have a strip, a groundable strip on the palm, that's, as, that's good as well. All right, the next point we're gonna look at is the grounding for, in this instance, the paint supply. All right, but this could be any object in the paint booth that can accept a charge. There's two grounding points here. The first one, because this is a metallic pail, is through the pail itself to the surface or to the ground. The next point is gonna be an actual ground wire from the pump to the true earth ground. Now this should be the case in any pump, not just electrostatic applications, but in any pump because there's a physical movement, uh, mechanical movement that should be grounded. So two things that ground is doing, it's any mechanical movement that should be grounded plus electrically ground to keep that pump or that paint supply from building up too much of a charge.